Hey everybody, Frank Sapsky here, the Polish Pizziola, 23% Italian, the lone Gavon. I review the pizza, the place, and the personality. And remember, all my reviews are oven fresh pies, never anything out of a box. Tonight, we're in New Haven, Connecticut, at a place called Next Door. Doug Coffin, the owner, who revolutionized the mobile pizza business 17 years ago with his concept of Big Green Truck, started this place about five years ago, and this has been a New Haven staple ever since. I heard this is a hidden gem, so I had to come check it out. Stay tuned, because I think you're going to like what I got for you. What should we call it? I thought, well, we've been referring to it as, well, when we open up next door, or when we do this next door. And I said, so, we just got to call it next door. So, that's how the name came about, and we really are just right alongside the uh, pizza truck operation. The mashed potato caramelized onion and bacon pie, which he makes here at Next Door, which is tonight. absolutely delicious. Would sum it up as one of the best pizzas in New Haven. What do you guys like about this pizza? Because you got, how many, how many slices you got? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Holy moly. You got five slices? Which one did you like the best? Pepperoni. <laughs> I've been making pies pretty much full time about 12 to 15 years. Are you Polish or Italian or what? <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a fake pizzaiolo like this Polish guy. <laughs> no, I'm uh, Italian. I'm actually first generation. My parents actually came here from Italy in the uh, late 60s, early 70s, and um, still live in the same house that we built. My, my father was a mason, my grandfather was a mason. True, true Italian. We have a saint in the bathtub in the front of the house. Fire going, hardwood, either uh, oak or you know, or maple, you know, some kind of a hardwood. Run out of wood? No, never run out of wood. <laughs> Always got to make sure you got a wood and good supply. You got to have good wood. We got a good wood guy. Wood ready to make some pies? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. First one we're making is our mashed potato pie. Okay. Mashed potato is uh, one of our most popular pies. So it's uh, real mashed potatoes, make them in house, real cream, real butter. We do our caramelized onion, make our own bacon, but well, we don't make the bacon, we don't kill the pigs. But <laughs> So it's a white pie. The way we start it is uh, mashed potatoes first. Okay, run them up. Potatoes go under the cheese because they're already cooked, they're fully uh, okay. ready to go. A little mozzarella. Then our caramelized onion. Oh boy. A little bit of brown you're sugar. Not, you're not shy with these, these toppings, huh? Nope. Bake too. Ooh, yeah. Nice, nice. Good handful of nice, sharp Pecorino Romano. Uh -huh. Gives it that salt, that bite. Gotta have the Pecorino. A little bit of black pepper. Oh, I love it. A little olive oil. A little extra virgin olive oil, not nice. too much. That's ready to go. Rock and roll. There's gonna be another white pie. So this is gonna be one of our newest, most popular pizzas. Okay. It is a Brussels sprouts, bacon, and spicy honey. So these are Brussels sprouts that we cut. And I love Brussels sprouts. We roast these in the pizza oven. A little regat. A couple nice, big, Ooh, help, healthy dollops of regat. Bacon, because can't go wrong with bacon. Now, does every pizza you have have bacon on it, or? It does, it does. <laughs> A little uh, pecorino. Yep. More olive oil. More olive oil. And this one, when it comes out, it's going to be finished with a uh, honey that has a chili oil mixed with it. So it's nice, sweet, spicy. Look at that, huh? That's a thing of beauty, man. You can smell the onions and the bacon, and oh, man. Beautiful. Is she done? That's about it. That's the thing with you. All right, this is our spicy honey. It's uh, honey, chili infused, good amount of heat. Good amount of heat, good amount of sweet. Goes perfectly with the roasted uh, Brussels and the bacon. Oh boy. Could have done without that. <laughs> I blame him. Okay, everyone, it's taste test time. For those that have been watching the channel, they know that I'm not a big onion guy, but I gotta tell you, this pie smells amazing. And um, these caramelized onions, uh, I, I, it's funny, I don't love raw onions, but I, I like onion rings, and, and that's what this smells like. So here we go, we're gonna test this. Mm. Mm. 
The taste is heavenly. The sweetness of the onion and the starch of the potato and that bacon taste, excellent. So guys, the next slice we got here is this uh, oven roasted honey, Brussels sprouts, bacon. Yes. Right? Okay. So here we go. And you guys know that I love vegetables, so this is going to be interesting. The sweetness of the honey comes right out. That's immediate. Then you got the bacon. I, I got to be honest with you, I've probably never had Brussels sprouts in my life other than on this pizza. But it's a great combination of the sweet taste from the honey and the bacon. Home run. Excellent job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you guys. So tell, tell us about your next door experience. You know, what makes this place special for you? Well, it's literally next door. <laughs> I mean, I, I live across the street and oh. you know, the, the time I moved in, it was the time that the restaurant opened. So I've wow. been here enjoying pizza ever since. Uh, I like, I do a little, they have a spicy meatball, but I like it with pepperoni. <laughs> it's really good though. And I really like the, the hot cherry peppers, okay. which like, I don't think, you know, I used to live in Chicago where they have all different kinds of oh, pizza. Boy. Which Chicago. is delicious, but uh, I've never had cherry peppers until I came here, and uh, I really love that. I love a little spice to the pizza. Really, I like all of it. Who can't like pizza? <laughs> Doug's just one of the nicest, uh, like I say, the nicest men I've ever, he, we're lifelong friends. And I love Doug, and I have nothing but admiration and good things to say about Doug. And, and he, he's just, he helps everybody. There's not a person he wouldn't help in the world. What initially brought you to New Haven? I came here to go to Yale. Okay. Wow. So, here never graduated. <laughs> you never graduated. Never graduated. I'm a Yale dropout, uh, you see? So, folks, you, you can decide whether to stay in college or not. What did your parents think about you dropping out of Yale and starting to be a ca starting a catering business? Oh, it was I'm sure that went over that, very well. That did not go over very well. So do you have any Italian in you at all? No. no. <laughs> I think that I, I need to write a book of, you know, my life amongst the Italians. <laughs> One thing about being in business for yourself, you learn how to apologize. You know, you realize you just not every day is going to be perfect, and not every day is going to be a winner. And I thought I saw a halo over your head before. <laughs> yeah. It's just a reflection on these lights. You're missing the spot. <laughs> Good night, guys.